Good morning. Next step to your earring hook is we are going to file this a little bit thinner and create a rounded end here so we don't cut our ear when we go to put this in or the person that we're gifting our earrings to don't um you know cut their ear so you need a file in your earring hook for that and what you're going to do is hold your earring hook and your file and here you're creating very very tiny filings they're called little pieces of metal are coming flying off this thing and so you what you're definitely not going to do is put this in your ear until it's washed very well with soap and water So I just filed that so it's round, filling it with my finger to make sure it's not sharp. And I'm using my, I'm right-handed, so I'm filing with my right hand and I'm using my left finger for leverage to kind of hold this in place. Because what you may have noticed is it's not really easy holding these things. They flop around a lot. Now, another thing that you can do if you want to finish this off, it's not a requirement. You're going to file both of them and file the end so it's nice and smooth. Um, the next thing that you can do if you want is hammer the front of this. I, this was my experiment um, or experimental earring. Um, I filed the front of mine and I don't like the look of it. Um, it's like a little hammered look. I don't want that on my earring hook. I want to keep mine rounded, but you might choose to do that, especially if your earring hook becomes part of your overall design. And um, it, because that is, if you want to, um, if your earring hook is part of your overall design, then it might look really nice to have this hammered. Um, and by your overall design, I mean, if you decide to recreate your earring hook, so say you have like your um, silver nickel wire, wire and that is all like your full design in this line is incorporated into your, your whole kind of outline drawing. Um, and if the rest is hammered, then you're going to want to hammer that as well. But if you kind of want it to be like a separate entity, um, and you don't, you know, you want it to be viewed as a separate thing like I do, um, in my four leaf clover design, then maybe you just want to keep it a straight line. So at this point I have filed this, I filed the end. And I am ready to bring it over to the seat sink and wash it with uh, hot soapy water. You're going to do this twice with you. You're going to do this two times um, with each earring hook. You are going to um, file, file the end, and then clean them with soap and water um, so they're ready to go. And then you can feel free to uh, test it in your ear if you want. Thank you.